hello did it start yes it did oh hi you guys crystal here how are you glowing mm -mm -mm. glowing mm -mm -mm. no this is not a sponsorship from planet fitness but i am always encouraging you to be free of course that's what my channel is about just embracing me embracing the freedom that i have in christ that means embracing who I was created to be, just loving on me and believing in what God created me to do. So that's why I'm here talking to you guys all the time. It is November. Oh my gosh, it's November. And um, it's just time for me to stop running from myself, period. Um, so as I have gone through the last three months of like this emotional wellness journey, um, I've created a emotional, while we're on that, I've created a emotional wellness uh, devotional that has gotten me to this point. I started it probably back in April or May, did it for like two months straight, did it one time through, had a lot of revelation, did it another time through, had a lot of revelation. And it's all about my emotional wellness. I even wrote my word for 2019 to be wellness because I think wellness in it includes every part of my life. Wellness for me is my wealth. Like at first I was in pursuit of all the wrong things. I was in pursuit of people. I was in pursuit of money. I was in pursuit of just everything but me and my wellness and my peace and my joy and my God, you know? So yeah. So everything wellness on this channel, now that I've ranted about wellness for about two minutes almost, let me get right into this because that'll be a whole nother video about like how I transitioned, you know, how I really got clear on what I'm supposed to be talking about. So, um, but anyway, here we are 30 days after quitting birth control. And I can tell y'all that it has been one of the best decisions I have ever made. So I, um... Okay, so I stopped birth control. I think it was like September 28th or 29th. Now, this is four days after I had gotten my next planon removed and started the pills. Um, so I got next planon. I guess this could be a next planon update too. I had got my next planon. If you don't know, it's the implant because now I have a scar, which I do not like I think that's gonna be there forever now that's where they had to cut it and remove it but I got the next banana after I had my last daughter she's two now she just turned two in September um, I had it inserted six weeks after having her um, I I opted in for the next phenomenon because I did not want to get on pills because I have pretty much tried every birth control out there um, so I've tried pills, I've tried Depo way before I had kids, Depo pills, every, I think I did everything but the patch and the NuvaRing, because I was like, no, I'm, I mean, I, I had a cousin that was on the patch, I didn't hear great things, and I had a friend that was on the NuvaRing, she liked it, but I'm like, no, I'm not going to be inserting nothing every month, like, no, I don't want to do that, I, I barely like using tampons, so, mm-mm. So I did pills, I did Depo, I did pills, I did uh, the IUD, the copper thing was supposed to sit in your uterus, hated it, um, pills again, and yeah. So I did pills majority of the time, but I was on pills that just like made me go all over the place. I don't know, just... So I opted for the next one on with my after my third child because I was like, I don't have time for pills. I don't have, you know, I don't want to just pretty much I was saying I didn't want to discipline myself. So I got the next one on. It worked out good for the first uh, six months. But then once I stopped breastfeeding my daughter, like my body just started getting out of control. So I didn't have a period, of course, because I was breastfeeding for like the first four months. And then once I started to slow down, I wasn't, I, once I started to slow down, I um, started getting periods again, but they were like so irregular. So they would either go very long or they would be really irregular. Like I could never time for two years, almost a year and a half, almost, I could never time when my period was gonna come on time. 
And then I was never a person that had premenstrual symptoms, but then I started having premenstrual symptoms like maybe two weeks before my period would even come. So here I am like, okay, is it coming or is it not coming? Like what's really going on? One thing I can't say it worked for, I did not get pregnant. But I mean, it to me, once I started having these sporadic periods and maybe I would spot for like two or three days, then no period, then my full blown period would come later on down the road. I was like, no, like I was already struggling, like thyroid issues. It, I couldn't, you know, after a while. And then I was like, okay, I'm over this because I'm tired of not knowing when my period is going to start. Like, you know, women, we base the time of our periods on a lot of things and for me I, being a married woman y'all know so um I just keep it real <laughs> so even I was frustrated I could sense the frustration the frustration with my husband because you know we would have chats like this and I would tell him I'm just as frustrated as you are because I don't know when it's going to be coming on time like I don't know and I don't like it either so I had been telling my husband probably for six months straight I'm going to go get this removed so I need you to know that we're going to have to do this together if you don't want to have more kids right now. Like, we're going to have to work this thing out together. So, finally, after about three months, I went to the doctor. I made an appointment to go get it removed. I went to the doctor, and they kind of convinced me to stay on it. I allowed them to convince me to stay on it. But they wanted to put me on pills to have regular periods. So, I'm like, why would I have the next banana in my arm but also take pills? Like, that didn't make sense to me. So I, I'm like, I come here for an answer, but you want to put me on extra birth control? I'm already like, e like my emotions was everywhere. I was moody, plus my periods. And I just didn't like how it was making me feel. So I ended up taking the birth control. I took the birth control pills home with me, but I never took them. Because once I got home and I told my husband about it, I'm like, this don't make sense. Like, I'm already having issues. Why would you recommend putting me on more birth control on top of what I, I have in my arm already? So I never took the pills. So for another three months, I went through everything, the moodiness, the emotions, the sporadic periods, heavy light. I just, I was over it. Like I was really over it. So I finally said, okay, I'm going to get this removed. I told my husband, I made an appointment. I think the next day um, I was in the doctor had it removed and they gave me pills because of course they always stress you need to take something because you can get pregnant like this so I was like yeah yeah okay um so I had the next one I removed that day plus I started a birth control pack the next day because of the pills because I told the doctor I'm like I don't want pills with a lot of hormones in it I don't want anything that's gonna make me all crazy so I took the pills for four days after having my um, next one I removed, but then I started noticing more changes. Like I became really tired. I didn't like that. Like I became super fatigued. Like I deal with fatigue already, but it was like on level 10. I was super tired and all I wanted to do was eat and just uh, things changed drastically in those four days. So I knew my body was saying, okay, we got to, you know, it has to get something going. You had this move and now you on this. This is something different. So, you know, our bodies have to adjust to what's going on. So I was like, okay, maybe it's just my body adjusting. But once that fourth day hit, like during those four days, what really confirmed for me to just quit birth control period because I knew I wanted to was I saw something on Instagram. Oh my gosh, I wish I could find her name. So even though I had read this before, but this time it stood out to me, period, because I'm on a wellness journey, like even physically, like I just, I have struggled with things here and there physically for probably the past seven years. And I'm like thyroid issues, um, pre-diabetes, being, uh, having food sensitivities. So I was just over just everything physically and I just wanted to get my body back I guess I want to say or get the body that I never had so I seen something on Instagram I cannot remember her name um, but I saw this on the breakfast club if you don't know who the breakfast club is that's um Charlemagne the God and DJ Envy and Angela Yee I think but there was this lady and two other doctors on there and they were talking about how you know, killing the pill. 
So I watched it and I was like, wow, this is just confirmation of how I've been feeling. But what stood out to me is to the fact that to know that birth control is considered a carcinogen, which means that it's killing us. And when I say us, I mean like, of course the stories and stuff that I've read and seen is more about African-American women. Um, but it causes so many issues when we think that it's helping us, it's really not helping us. Yes, it's helping us from having children, but that's about it. And in in, in all the other ways it's harming us. Um, yeah. So I'm at 10 minutes already, but anyway. It's harming us. So when I saw that and I looked deeper into her page, I'll make sure I link her at the bottom, but in the Breakfast Club video at the bottom, but I looked more into her page and she was telling her story about being on birth control plus the stories of other women um, and what they've gone through being on birth control and how it harmed their body and how birth control actually causes more issues for us versus what we think and how the doctors just automatically go to recommending a birth control for everything. Like even when we're young, Pre-teens and we say oh we have heavy periods they put you on a birth control if you have irregular periods they put you on a birth control like if your acne is going out of control they put you on a birth control and that's not right you know what i'm saying so all i had to read was that birth control was a carcinogen meaning it's toxic it kills you it can kill you it can cause some bodily problems that can be permanent i was like okay i'm done fourth day and i told my husband i was like we're gonna have to get this together brother because I'm not going to be on birth control anymore. So that's why I stopped. I was tired of my body just being all over the place. So in the 30 days, let's get to that. So since it's been about 30 days since I've stopped uh, the birth control, I've noticed a huge change. Like, okay, so not TMI, but my menstrual cycle is on right now. Um... Because when I stopped the birth control, my cycle was on then. So I didn't really, this is my first time experiencing the next cycle minus birth control. I will say that um, I don't have, I didn't have a lot of premenstrual symptoms. Um, I was tired the day before it started, which that happens to me. Like I get fatigued. It's almost like pregnancy symptoms. I get fatigued, but it was only one day before. Um, usually it's like a week before. Um, what else? I used to have, I had really heavy periods. It hasn't been that way. I used to cramp. I haven't been cramping. Um, headaches. Haven't had headaches. Acne is actually good like now through this past month from the transition of my body detoxing from the hormones of birth control which i know it's going to take some time because i've been on birth control for a long time um but through that detox phase like my face started breaking out really fat really bad like that was the main thing that i noticed that i had really bad acne um but that was about it and now my face is finally clearing up but it's still, you know, it, it was breaking out in an on unnormal way. Um, but yes, I could just say that I feel 100% better. Like, I feel 100% different. And I, I, I'm sure the next 30 days, I'll be able to really say, you know, okay, 60 days in, this is what. Because now I'm going to start working on changing my diet and actually working on my thyroid issues to get my hormones balanced detox i'm trying to figure out what diet like I, not diet but like if i i want to i actually want to get on like an alkaline diet to make my eating habits um plant-based mostly so i'm doing that and i found a few resources that caters particularly to post birth control issues um, there's actually three people that I found, four people that I found that talk about that for women and they do, they have an amazing resource available on their sites as far as, uh, food you eat, um, just self care as you go through this, um, detoxing, what supplements to take, like I'm looking at all of that stuff. So I've been working on that. There's actually like this five day um, 
info thing that's about to happen today actually that I'll be starting so but I could just say that I feel so much better like there's so many things that was happening to me while I was on birth control that is not happening right now and I can honestly say I'm grateful like I am grateful <laughs> for that so if you have ever considered quitting birth control I would say that you need to really recommend it only thing I would say is that you have to discipline yourself you have to be prepared to discipline yourself if you're married, you're sexually active. I don't care what you are. I'm married. So, yes, I have three children. So, I prepared myself for this. I found apps. I tried like two or three different apps to track day-to-day -day things as far as my body, my periods, um, my intimacy with my husband. Like, it's important to track all of that. Plus, I got um, an app that tracks my periods so it could tell me when I'm ovulating so I know that time to play it cool um but we back to the old school for me and my husband it's like we never you know being married you don't want to use protection per se like condoms but we just gonna have to make it do what it do until I get um used to tracking things that's just what i have to do if i don't want to have kids right now we plan on having maybe one more in the future but not right now so we, i told my husband we just have to discipline ourselves and that's all it takes like it takes discipline self-control to do what's necessary so i track that time when i'm ovulating and we're going to see how it works out this month for real um to see how it goes and it's just as simple as that i keep doing this because i'm looking at the time of the video y'all but keep in mind that if you're on birth control and you're having all kind of symptoms and you know it's not normal you don't like the way it makes you feel just listen to yourself and quit the birth control because it it doesn't help and i know some women will be like oh i'm not i don't want to have any more kids but my body how i feel physically is more important than trying not to have children you know, like, I'm not saying I'm about to be around here birthing children, like 19 kids and counting, but, and that can still be controlled. It's just my physical health is more important than trying to avoid having children. Because even if I got pregnant while I was on birth control, physically, my body doesn't need to handle that right now. So I'm doing what's more important and it's taking care of myself so I can be available. And the fact that birth control is a carcinogen and it can kill you, it's slowly killing us, it's causing more harmful things than positive because it does just that one thing of people having mind um, controlling having children, but it's really harming us in more ways than you know. So keep that in mind as well. I don't wanna keep putting things in my body that is harming me. And it's sad because we're not educated that way these days. We don't educate. Like, I didn't learn about birth control when I was young. So, I didn't learn how it's harmful or other options that I could take. Or, I mean, of course, they give you condoms. But that's it. Like, really educating yourself or educating other people. And it's so important because all we know at a young age is to go get on birth control. Or our moms will put, on on birth, uh, put us on birth control at an early age just because they don't want us to have kids but it's about education it's not about what everybody else is doing so that is my 30 day post birth control situation so i'll check back in with that 60 day and we'll keep seeing how it goes but please do your research get your information and educate yourself that's the most important thing like you have to educate yourself and i'm so glad that i'm doing that so until next time, remember to glow, remember to affirm yourself, remember to do what makes you happy because you can't pour from an empty cup. This is a part of my emotional wellness journey. Um, this is staying true to me and taking care of myself and doing what works for me because I don't have time to be trying to do what everybody else is doing. I just don't. I'm not, you know, yeah. So talk to you guys in another 30 days about this specific topic but remember to just scroll through my channel look at my videos subscribe share some things that you feel like it's of encouragement and i would appreciate that go follow me on instagram at crystal clayton glows